On today's episode, we're going to be installing the Metal Cloak HD tie rod and Rock Sport steering stabilizer. So I ran the Rubicon Trail over the past weekend and I actually suffered some trail damage. I bent my stock tie rod, I smashed the stock steering stabilizer, and I ripped off my rear license plate bracket on the trail. Now it's a difficult trail so you know a little bit of trail damage is to be expected. Now I've already done some prep work in order to get ready. The tie rod comes in three pieces to the dog leg ends and the actual steel shaft for the tie rod. I put some anises on each end of the dog legs. I screwed them in and I measured out to what metal cloak on the instructions says to have it at 58 and 3 8 inches. So I've already done that. Uh, I've taken the wheels off the Jeep, so we're gonna jump right into this install. To get started, we're gonna remove the bolt that's holding the steering stabilizer to the track bar mount. Uh, the back of the bolt's held on by a flag nut, so you don't have to worry about holding the back. The stock bolt's an 18 millimeter. Next, there's two bolts on either end of the tie rod that actually hold it in. Now these are a 21 millimeter, so get your 21 millimeter socket and just take them off. Once you have each bolt off, you're just gonna simply take a hammer and pop it out. And there you have it, your stock track bar and steering stabilizer is actually removed from the Jeep. The next step in the install process is going to be actually mounting the new steering stabilizer bracket. Now this mounts to the stock location through the track bar mount. The issue that I have is that I have an aftermarket Arctic Industries HD track bar mount. So this is actually gonna require a little bit of drilling for me. The first bolt's gonna go in the stock location that holds the track bar in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. It's a 21 millimeter socket and it's captured by a flag nut in the rear so you don't have to hold anything on the back. Now I'm not actually going to tighten the bolt all the way down since I'm going to have to get the steering stabilizer aligned and then figure out where this hole is going to need to be drilled. So once I get the tie rod installed and the steering stabilizer mounted, I'll have an idea of what location that hole is going to be drilled in. The next step in the install process is going to be to actually install the tie rod. So there are two castle nuts on either end that you're going to have to take off and then reinstall. I actually had to get a little support in order to get this thing installed. I got a little wooden stool. So I got one end captured with the castle nut that's provided, so it should be a little bit easier to get this second one. And you're just gonna get it captured with the castle nut. Now these bolts on the castle nut are a 27 millimeter or a 1 and 1 16th. Okay, so once you tighten down the castle nut, um, there's a cotter pin that needs to go in and it helps capture and keep it in place. Uh, just get the little castle notches lined up with the hole that goes through the 
stud. Um, you don't have to over tighten this, just get it pretty snug. Get it in there and some needle nose pliers. Bend it back. And then you're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. Now there are two greaser fittings that go in underneath the dog legs. So we're going to go ahead and put those in. And they are an 8 millimeter. You don't want to over tighten these. Just get them snug. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Next, we're going to start installing the steering stabilizer. So, I'm going to start with the measurements. It needs to be 16 inches from eye to eye, according to the instructions. And we're going to go ahead and capture it in the supplied bracket. Once we have the steering stabilizer captured, we can go ahead and install the tie rod mount that goes on it. Now that I know how the steering stabilizer bracket that mounts to the track bar bracket is going to sit, I'm going to go ahead and center punch where I need to drill. I'm going to start off small in order to get a pilot hole and then work my way up to a 3 8 inch hole. Now that I got that hole drilled out, I finally got it tightened down. I'm going to reinstall the steering stabilizer into the bracket. So the bolts that hold these in place are both 19. So tighten it all the way down. And the last bolt that we have to tighten is the top bolt on the tie rod steering stabilizer end. This bolt's another 19 millimeter. Let's go ahead and tighten that down. Final step is to actually put some grease into these boots where the dog legs in are, that way there's lubrication. Now be careful not to overfill these. As you can see, this wasn't a very difficult install. All in all, it took about 45 minutes to an hour from start to finish. As always, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.